Hi, my name is Gary Chavez, and I'd like to introduce you to a game called Battlecats. Battlecats is an Eastern fantasy themed card game for two to four players. It is aimed at casual gamers. A typical game lasts from 30 to 60 minutes. In Battlecats, the players represent rival warlords trying to form the most powerful team of warriors or pride in order to become the next Battlecat Emperor. The primary mechanic of Battlecats is something I'm calling compound deck building. Unlike a typical deck builder where all the players are building their own individual decks, in Battlecats all the players are building one common deck. But Battlecats is not a cooperative game. Each player is seeking to dominate the deck. Each round generates a certain number of victory points for each player. Your objective is to minimize the number of victory points it generates for your opponents while maximizing the number of victory points it generates for yourself. The player with the most victory points at the end of 12 rounds wins. Each player starts by choosing a color deck, either blue, green, red, or yellow. Each deck has the same number and types of cards, but with a different background color. The common deck is a deck that all the players are building together and will have all the color cards shuffled together. A typical round is broken into phases. In the deal phase, cards are dealt from the common deck. In this case, 12 cards are dealt in a four-player game. The dealt cards are called the fray, and they are the cards in play for the round. In the action phase, players take the actions on the cards in the order they were dealt. In this case, red goes first, then blue, then green goes twice, and so on until the last card in the fray. Now each card has a victory point and recruit credit value. Victory points are what help you win. Recruit points allow you to buy more cards from your color deck and put them in the common deck. Actions allow you to change the victory and recruit point values on your cards or your opponent's cards. There are three basic actions. This card allows a player to exile an opponent's card, permanently removing it from the game. This card allows a player to wound another player's card. Wounding reduces the victory and recruit points of an opponent's card. A wounded card is indicated by placing a wound token on it. This card allows a player to protect any of his cards. Protecting prevents an opponent from exiling or wounding one of your cards or restores one of your wounded cards to its full victory and recruit point values. A protected card is indicated by placing a shield token on it. All cards have some variation of these powers. In the victory point phase, players add together the victory points of their cards in the fray. In this example, the blue player would add their victory points together, keeping in mind that this wounded card gives the reduced victory points, not the full points. The other players add their victory points as well. The last phase is the Recruit phase. Players add together the Recruit points of their cards in the fray. The blue player would add their points together, and again, noting the Wounded card gives reduced credits. They can then buy cards from their color deck to put into the common deck, so it may be drawn in a later round. Players continue to repeat the phases each round. After 12 rounds, the player with the most victory points wins the game. Well, those are the basics of the game. Battlecats is a fresh and engaging variation on the deck building mechanic that is accessible to novices, but still offers new challenges to veterans of deck building games. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me at the address at the end of this video. Thank you very much for your time.